Want to make your Python functions smarter? Let's learn how to use quargs together. We start with a simple function that takes a name and prints it. Then we call it with name equals Alice and everything works fine. It prints out the name just like we expect. Now let's try to pass one more piece of information like age equal 25. But wait, Python gives us an error. Why? Because the function only knows about the name parameter. When we give it more than it expects, it doesn't know what to do with the extra data. So here's where quargs saves the day. We update the function to accept quargs. That way, any extra keyword arguments we pass are packed into a dictionary. We can loop through that dictionary and print out each key and its value. Now when we call the function with both name equals Alice and ag25, Python doesn't complain. It prints both values with no errors. And guess what? We're not limited to just one or two extra values. We can also add something like city equals New York, and it still works perfectly. If we want, we can even separate the name from the rest. So name stays a normal parameter and everything else gets collected by quargs. That way we can treat the main value differently and still support any additional information we want to pass in. It's such a powerful feature when building flexible and dynamic functions. And hey, don't forget to check out the other Python tutorials on the channel. We're learning all of this step-by-step -step together.